hybrid or five wood? Which one is easier to hit and which one should you have in your bag? Or should you have both? Here is our typical bag setup. We'll have a driver, obviously, three wood, typically, okay? Then we'll do like a, a four, five, and six iron. It's pretty common. Most people these days are ditching the three and two irons. Good idea, for the most part. Then obviously we'll do a seven, eight, and nine. No one's taking those out of the bag. I like a three, four, or even five wedge setup, but uh, it's gonna be a pitching wedge, right? And then uh, I like a, a gap wedge, okay? Sand wedge, they call it, and then a lob wedge. That's a lot of us, and uh, pretty much everybody has a putter. So, there you go. So, that's 13 clubs. So, we have room for one more. What's it gonna be? 99% of people that I see have a hybrid usually, and then some of them have a five wood or something like that instead. And some people have both, but then you have to remove a club, and I kind of like where we're at here. Because this four iron really comes into play a lot, when you, especially when you flight something low or punch out or, or do something kind of like that. Like, this is a good thing to have. Now, if you can't hit it, I get it, then you gotta figure something else out. But that's a whole different video. So, we gotta find out which one of these two we're gonna keep because at the higher end of your bag, the metals, the wood area, I like to have less clubs, more space between clubs than I do at the low end. This is our scoring zone here with the wedges and lower irons, okay? And up top, we don't need as tight a gapping. So it comes down to these two, which one's going in the bag. So our three hybrid is a Callaway Maverick. It has 20 degrees of loft, okay? KBS shaft, really nice setup here. And we also have a Maverick 5 wood with 15 degrees of loft. Project X even flow shaft, great setup as well. As you can see, the five wood is about a couple inches longer than the hybrid. Hybrids can be shorter, so you would think easier to control. The soles on both, as you can see clearly, this is a much smaller sole than the five wood, right? For whatever that's worth. And it does have more loft, than the five wood, so you would think that it's going to go higher and softer than the five wood. Those are just my kind of uh, thoughts we would probably, most of us would think would happen with the two. Which one's easier to hit, do you think? Which one is better for your game, for your bag? Here are the three things I want us to focus on as we try to determine which one is best for our bag. One is going to be how easy this is to hit. Which one is easier than the other? That will be subjective, vary from person to person, but I'll give my best assessment to you. Second is going to be, what do we get out of it when we hit it? What is the performance? And the third piece is going to be, what's our miss? Where does that go? Because that's a huge factor, I think, with every club in the bag. All right? So ease, performance, miss. We'll start off with the three wood. What I wanna do is just get kind of a baseline, stock swing, what do I get out of this thing? Here we go. Nice little hybrid shot. Hit that pretty well. 209 carry, Two, pretty good. I missed it pretty far right, so maybe I can get a little bit better shot here. Hit that one. Very well, again, right, 210, pretty consistent here. Just trying to find out what does my standard shot look like with this thing? So this will give me a good little average. What do I get out of it? 201, all right, so just over 200 with that standard, let's say everyday shot. This one went 60, 
feet in the air, the other ones went a little bit higher, good to know. So now I want to know what can I do with it, okay? What else can I get out of its performance? Let me choke down, because I want to know this choke down shot. Very important. I hit that one really good. 201, that's a little choke down, I love it. Trying to control something, I like that, pretty easy to hit. So, so far my misses are right, and the performance is pretty good. 200, over 200 every time. So now I really want to go for it. Let's see what I can fully get out of it, 100%. I'm giving it all I got. This will really showcase the misses and the performance and the ease of hitting it. So here we go. Going for it, going for that green and two, whatever it is. 202. Most people make the mistake of not swinging all out when they're testing a club. Huge mistake. You want to know what happens when you're giving it everything you got. Because there's two times you give it everything you got when you're on the golf course. One, when you're going for something. Two, when you're nervous. And if you're nervous, you accidentally give it all you got. Last one, just see what we got. Everything in the tank. <laughs> 213. All my misses are high right. I kind of like that because I want to know where they all go, but I'm in the trees. Not hard to hit. And for the most part, uh, pretty good. Now we're going with five wood here and we're going to see what type of performance we get out of this doing the same exact thing. So start off stock five wood shot. Smooth swing, just normal, 219. I like my high right miss, 100 feet in the air, 232 total. Okay, so uh, farther out of the gate, but farther doesn't necessarily mean better. It just means it, it went farther. It is longer, right? It did go pretty high though. So I went higher with less loft. That's kind of interesting already, right? But what if I have 200? Can I choke this down, hit a nice smooth, swing and get that kind of performance out of it. Let's see. Choke it down. See what kind of shot we can pull off here. 217. Smooth swing. Choke down a ton. Little butter fade. Not bad. Nice high 217 yard carry. I'm just trying to get something out there in the fairway. That's pretty good. All right. But when we're nervous, when we're going for it, we need performance. Does this perform when you're going all out? That's all I got, really. 242 carry, 261 total, 98 feet in the air, nice hot, like, I mean, that's, I'll take that any day of the week. So that's the test you need to do to determine which one of these two will go in your bag. As far as uh, performance, both perform great. Five wood's gonna get me a lot more distance and with less loft, it actually goes higher than the hybrid. Pretty cool. It has a feel of a lighter head than this. This has a bit heavier of a profile than the five wood and I like the lighter profile better for me. It just helps me hit it better for whatever reason. I prefer a larger sole versus a smaller sole and I feel like this has a tendency to shut down and I feel like I could hook it, at least looking at it and with the weighting of it, more so than the five wood. So I like the wider sole, gets through the earth on those fairways better than the hybrid for me personally. And in terms of workability, I love being able to choke this down and with that normal shot, I get pretty great distance out of that more than this and I can open the face here and play a little butter cut and it would be even higher and softer and a little bit shorter if I need it. So I hope that helps you in determining which of these two guys are going in your bag. For me, it's a no-brainer. Five wood. All day and night, baby. Thanks for watching, love you guys. See you soon.